Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariana and today I'm going to be showing you guys some quick and easy crafts that you can do for decoration or just fun during the holidays. So anyway, yeah, let's just get right into that for the first thing I have. Remember um, this thing right here? If you've been watching my channel, you should remember that. And if you do remember that, well, I'm going to be making something very similar to that only as a Christmas tree. Okay, so it's all set up. So let's cut off our tags and I'm going to make three different layers. I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like pinning them. So I'm just going to give this a good shot, line it up. I kind of need like one more of these that I do not have to finish up this tree. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this work. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an oval-ish thing out of this, like that one. And then we'll make a super small one out of this, and I'll do the same out of that, and we'll just see how this works. Now I gotta cut some super small ones out of these scraps. Yeah. It was rough. But I did it. Alright, that's enough thing. Let's just, you know what, let's just jump right in. Here we go. All right, let's go stuff them. By the way, I may or may not have used the very remains of the fabric to make a tiny one. So I'm gonna sew this up off camera and we'll see you guys for the stuffing. First, we gotta turn them where they're right side out. Can you see the envisionment? Okay, let's fill it. We're just gonna stuff it just enough and you'll see why in a minute. Which is also helpful because I'm almost out of stuffing so not filling it super full is gonna really be nice. I really don't know if I'm actually gonna have enough. This is pretty much the last I have barely made it and was able to save just enough to do the tiny little one that I have. You guys will have to see the vision later. This is going to be so cute. So I was originally going to do this because I thought it looked good, but at this point I'm thinking it's going to be better if I do it like this. It's going to be a little bit more weird looking because I'm going to like squish in the sides like that, but I think it's going to be cuter in the end. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not entirely sure how to go about this. I think I might glue that fold right there and have this be the bottom layer right here. Okay, yeah, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pinch it in and then, oh, I'm out of glue sticks. Okay, back with glue sticks. Now, I'm gonna stick in a little bubble right here. And I've grouped in the sides and I'm just gonna take these two corners and hold those like that. I think this is gonna work. Then I'm also gonna glue in little places like this. I'm gonna just stick in some glue somewhere in there and hope it makes it. Yeah, I think there's some glue in there <laughs> and then just continue to bunch until it's bunched perfectly. Okay, so here's what mine looks like. Now moving on to the second one, I'm gonna tuck in that thing first, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right there and put this little flap, and then I'm just gonna push down like that, and the creases that are formed from that, I'm gonna hot glue those two together. We're gonna go ahead and glue them on like so. So I'm gonna start out with just a big old gob right there and just put it on there and squish it down real hard. I think this one's gonna go like that good dollop right on there and then just stick her on top. I'm also gonna go around and try and seal in the edges because this is so small I don't think it will hurt it to do that while the rest is drying. I've got an idea, but first I'm going to go to Dollar Tree, and then I'll be back with some pom-poms, so see you in a minute. I got these from the Dollar Tree, as you saw, so I was going to get pom-poms, as you also saw, but I decided to go with these because I couldn't stand that they were so pretty. So, I'm going to hot glue these on like little ornaments. Let's get to it. I'm going to start out with a red one just because the red ones are really cool looking. Now it's styrofoam, so I'm probably going to melt it somewhat, but that's okay. And then I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to put the first one right here. Yay! Oh my god. So the next one, I'm going to go ahead and put a dollop on here. I'm going to put a big dollop because I like to try to bury it into the tree. Put a dollop on there. And then, wow, look, hold on. It's bubbling. The styrofoam is bubbling in there. Oh, and this is dripping. I'm trying to push it into the tree, so it's more like that, more buried. See? 
and voila. Here's how it's looking. Put some tinsel on it. And we got an adorable little Christmas tree. But that's the best part. It actually lights up. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? I'll just show you guys in the dark. Um, what I also decided to do was I didn't decorate the back just because I thought it looked better just having that in the front and that being that. So this is what I stuck with. Um, it looked good without the tinsel stuff as well. I just thought that would add really a lot. So here's what it looks like. Okay, so here it is with the Thanksgiving slash fall stuff. Up, uh, We have this cute little pumpkin from my about two videos ago. If you want to go check that out, I would. We have that cute little area over here. Um, life is for living, not for doing, so enjoy it. Here's what I got. And now let's try it with the Christmas tree. And then the Christmas tree. That is so cute. It looks so Christmassy. Okay. So here we have our little Christmas tree. Of course, we still have those lights up there, but look how cute that is. I really like the pumpkin, but I love this so much. This is so cute. I'd say that's a win. And of course, we gotta do the tiny one. This one, I'm gonna do slightly different. I'm gonna do it the way I wanted to do the original one, where I just stacked them on top of each other like that. And now I am going to hold it like this forever. All right, it's dry, and now it's time to decorate. Alrighty, and I'm just gonna put a little doll up on here. I think I'll go with gold first. I don't actually know how this is gonna end up looking, but we're just going to decorate the tree. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it looks a little bit rough, but it's supposed to look cute, not perfect. Alrighty, so I just got an idea for this little guy. Well, actually my mom gave me the idea. She said he looks like a little creature, so. Instead of a Christmas tree, we're going to turn him into a creature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I don't have googly eyes, so I'm going to make my own eyes out of hot glue bubbles. So while that dries, I'm going to put it aside over here. So we're going to move on to putting on his little ears. Let's pick the perfect placement. I think that is the perfect placement. I think that's the right placement for it. Alrighty, so it's a couple hours later. We have the face all done. Looks a little interesting, but let's go ahead and hot glue it on. Well, here we go. Oh, he's so cute! It's kind of funny because the very thing that I almost didn't make because I didn't see the point in it because at the time I didn't know it was going to be this turns out to be probably one of the, my favorite things from the video. This is so cute. All thanks to my mom for this one. It was going to be a little Christmas tree until she said it looked like a little animal and now we have this. Some kind of mischievous name. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what mischievous name we should pick for this little guy. He found his paradise. He's in with all the delicious fruits. He's going to be the new elf on the shelf. Just wait. I'm predicting the future. Alrighty, so for this next one, what we're going to do is I'm going to make these little ornaments, um, but you can use them for whatever. Cracking open some leftover paint that I had from a different painting I was doing earlier and just mixing up a really random color in the bottom of this cup. And then I'm just going to just keep improvising till I think it looks about right. Now that I've applied a nice layer of that on, I'm setting it aside to dry and then after it's dried, I'm putting on a coat of black paint around the outside to get rid of the label of the yogurt. And while that's drying, I'm moving on to this little light bulb. It's a burnt out light bulb. I wish I would have done a regular light bulb so it'd light up, but anyway, this is gonna be a cute ornament that you can use. 
Um, I'm just painting a little Christmas tree on it because I didn't really know what else to paint. And I tried to write Merry Christmas on there and I used paint, I used Sharpie, and I kept messing up every time. So eventually I just wiped it all off. And thankfully the Sharpie did come off with some uh, rubbing alcohol. I used this other Merry Christmas, but you'll find it gone later because when I put the Mod Podge on it, it ruined it. So just ignore that. Now I'm moving on to painting the inside of that cup I was doing earlier. And as you can probably already tell by this point, I'm making a cute little snowman. And you can't have a snowman if it's not snowing, so I'm going to cover it with a whole lot of little white dots to get the impression of snow. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but when I think of a snowman, he has to have a top hat on. I don't know, probably Frosty ruined us, but... And now it's all done. I just put a coat of Mosh Podge over everything off camera and filled it up with some of these little styrofoam balls to make it look like it's snowing inside of the ornament. I chose this container because it has a lid on it, which is really nice because you can put the lid on and have it almost like a mini snow globe. But aside from that, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the thing to actually hang it. Um, just put some hot glue on there with some twine and then just tie a little knot on top and you're good to go. And voila, this is how this one turned out. You can have it with the snow or without the snow. I personally actually like it better without the snow, but I still like the idea of the snow. I'm also doing the same thing with a little light bulb, just some hot glue, tie it on top. And here is how this is looking. By the way, the star this time looks so beautiful. And yeah, there you have it. It's editor Ariana here, just want to let you know that I forgot to film the, the outro, so. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration for some decoration ideas or at least just provided entertainment for you. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. Remember, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and that is coming up really fast. So please, if you are new here, please subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Remember, God made you to be who you are. So be you, be different, and.